says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. It's a 1964 Ford F100. It's actually a really cute looking little truck and uh, actually in really nice uh, condition. I love love this body style. They made these in you know F100s, F250s. This one here is with a 223 six cylinder with the four speed. And you know, it's really a remarkable you know, truck overall. It's actually just a really, really nice driver and uh, it's not rusty and uh, someone's taken care of it for, for years and years. It's been re repainted once and uh, you know, it's not perfect, the paint job, but uh, it looks really nice. So uh, it's kind of a treat to see a truck in this condition. We did a lot of work to it. I'll talk to, to you about it, but did a lot of cosmetic and then we did some stuff underneath the hood and, and stuff that I'll show you. But we're gonna go ahead and show you the headlights. They're uh, marker lights first. Then we got headlights. Then we got bright lights. Then we got blinkers. Got your left and got your right. So all that's uh, that's working. And uh, we'll just walk around it uh, here and I'll just show you some different stuff about it. Go ahead and shut it off. One thing that's nice here on this truck, there's no bubbles underneath the hood here. And uh, these trucks really suffered from uh, getting rust bubbles here. There's one little tiny thing right there, but I think that's actually just the paint. And because uh, it has different flaws and, and stuff in the paint. And uh, it's never really been cut and buffed. You can see a chip right there, but you know, usually these are just rotted out and uh, pretty impressive. It's got the um, aluminum grill in it, which looks nice. And when I got it, it was really monotone looking. And uh, some of you guys might have seen that on my Instagram page and Facebook, but you know, the bumper was painted the same color. The wheels were painted the same color. The rear bumper was painted the aqua, which I love aqua, but it was just too much. And uh, you can see here the tires or the wheels we painted white. And uh, the, the tires are bias ply 750, 7.5 by 16 LTs. So they are truck tires. And uh, they're actually in, in actually really, really good shape. And, uh, but they are bias ply and they're, they're not a radial. And uh, so they're a little bumpy, you know, when you drive them, it's not, it's not like a radial tire, but that kind of makes the fun of the truck in general. And uh, you look down the side, you know, actually pretty straight, a couple little wobbles, but uh, overall nice. I love the, you know, the style, how this comes down and you can see that back behind the back wheel. And uh, I think, uh, 69 Camaros probably copied that and uh, how it wraps around there, but uh, they're just really unique trucks We put a new badge in here as well and uh, You know overall looks good. You'll see some little tiny imperfections right here in the paint You can see some little cracking in the paint. You'll see a picture of that and the, the glass is all good except there's a big chip right there and uh, that needs to be replaced but it does stay uh, dry inside and um, overall you know the windows roll up and down nice and things you can see here no rust that's a pretty common area in these and in the bottom of the doors really really nice and we'll put it on my lift and show you the rockers underneath here and inside the the doors there uh, very clean if you look at the cab you know no rust back here really nice you know if you had a vintage airstream or something like that uh or an old shaft or something like that that was um kind of an aqua color this would be awesome little tow rig for it and uh, here you can see the original spot welds up through here and uh one other place that these really rust is around the cab around the gutter and this gutter is in really nice condition and uh no big bubbles or anything and uh We'll go ahead and look at the bed. We'll flip it around here in a minute uh, so you can see the rest of it. Right here, there's no bubbling around the, the wheel lip there either, but we'll flip it around here. You got little little crack right there and uh, diffs, just different imperfections and in, in chips in general, but uh, we'll flip it around here now and you can take a look at the other side.
Okay, here we are on the uh, driver's side. Right here you can see the brake lights work. You can see the tail lights. We got brake lights. We got turn signals. We got your left. We got your right. And you can see here also even the license plate light is working. And uh, go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it sounds great. And uh, you can shut it off. You know, when we look down the side, it looks really straight. And uh, you'll, see a, you'll see a little bit of waviness, but not too bad. I mean, it's, it's a really nice driver. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the tailgate here first. Tailgate's in really, really nice shape, nice condition. You can see here there's a little crack in the light. You know, this is an option on these trucks, the, uh, the chrome around the taillights. I went ahead and painted when I got it. Um, it was really monotone, like I said before, but um, it didn't say Ford across there. It, well, it did say Ford, but it wasn't in white. And uh, we painted the bumper because everything was, was all turquoise. So I think it was a nice, nice addition. You can see here, this ring looks pretty good. You know, the light's older, but overall looks nice. And uh, you can see here, you know, it hasn't been hit in the corners or anything. Go over and look on this side. You know, again, really, really, really clean. You'll see some chipping and stuff here. You know, the paint, like I mentioned before, isn't perfect. A couple little chips there and here. And, uh, but, you know, it looks, looks pretty nice. And uh, you look around the wheel lip back here, not rusty. I actually love the, the design of that, actually. And, uh, Pretty nice. You'll see some little tiny pitting on the chrome on the uh, on the rim, but nothing bad. And uh, right here, you can see a little imperfection in the paint. You know, a couple little spots. I think probably if someone you know did a cut and buff on this, it would actually really improve it. But you know, it does have a nice gloss and uh, looks nice. And uh, you can see here on the gas cap. You know, it's cracked just a little bit around there on the rubber. Look here at the bottom of this cab, a little water, and uh, really, really nice. We'll put it on my lift again so you can see it. And there's no rust down here below on this fender. And uh, again, I love the, the swoopiness of the fender. Just a really cool uh, design in these trucks. And uh, you see the, the mirror looks in good shape. They had some other kind of mirrors from the factory that uh, set down in here. This truck probably never had them on there originally. And you can actually see like little tape lines, you know, on a cup, on a little bit of the rubber. You can see right here. And uh, you can see here the roof is really nice and the gutter looks in good shape. You know, usually these are trouble, trouble spots here around the gutter, around this area in it. It looks really good so you know overall looks nice we'll little chip we'll uh take a look at some other things here for you okay we'll take a look at uh, the inside you can see here the door's locked and uh the key does open it so it's got locking doors you know interior is actually pretty nice in the truck and uh, I like the look of it looks good you can see the seat I believe most of the seat is original like right here you know the sides and everything but I think this was replaced and uh, you can just it's kind of got new stitching around here but I think it was replaced uh, probably many years ago but they didn't, uh, like a reproduction seat, you can't get this um, embossing there anymore. They don't have that. And uh, so I think this is 100% original on the outside and, and new inserts, which is nice that they retained retained that. But, uh, you know, you look at the dash, you know, it's got the chrome that goes across. You know, it looks real good. Custom cab, you can see down there. Steering wheel actually looks pretty good, but it's got a lot of little cracking around the edges and 
you can see a big crack right here you know it's just mostly cosmetic stuff you know you can see the floor mat very very original you can see it's cracked right here and uh you know split right here but i would never change that out they do make reproductions but it's kind of nice to keep it original and uh, you look inside the jams again really nice this is actually usually a serious area on chevys and fords and any make usually this is pretty rusty this is really clean you can look inside the jam they're very very nice and uh, go ahead and look at the door panels this was an option as well these little compartments and uh, sometimes they put them on both doors and uh, this one has it on this side but overall looks looks good it's nice that those are there we did put new rubber around the doors and uh, the others other was old original door tag you can see there there'll be a picture of it on the auction too we'll go ahead and roll the windows up so you can see those they roll up and down nice got nolan going over there to look at the other one it was kind of sticky right there at the end when it went down not bad but anyways just wanted to show you that one's rolling up and down pretty good and uh one thing that's nice in here to the original headliner it's cardboard very very nice condition and that tells you a lot that it uh you know didn't get a lot of water in this truck that courtesy light right there turns on with the light switch right here you just turn it back and uh, odometer says 34 7, 7, and uh, there's your heat controls we'll take it out for a drive here in a little bit you can see some chips or a cracking here on the shifter you know we got one two three four and then reverse over here but uh, I'll go ahead and show you the other side okay here we are on the uh, passenger side you know the doors shut really nice you got to hit it just a little harder because these new gaskets you really got to push up against there and uh, go ahead and look at the glove box you know original liner looks good someone put an aftermarket stereo in it you know probably back in the 80s I mean pretty common and uh, I would just leave it because it works and uh, or you could buy a uh, a, a reproduction uh, well not a reproduction uh, a, a block off plate radio delete and uh, put a radio inside the glove box that would be nice and uh, just to clean that up a little bit but you know it is what it is you can see the jam again looks really really good you know no rust down in here and uh, this is what's really impressive too is behind the seat you know all original and uh, looks really good I'll show you the headliner up on this side sun visors original and uh, you know it looks in pretty good condition just one last look at the seat you know it's actually pretty comfy to ride in so we'll take a look at the edge of the door we got pictures underneath the doors too underneath here and uh, that's another common area underneath there that this rust out and that's really really clean and uh, so there you have it we'll show you some more stuff Here we go, we're going to take a look underneath the hood and have Nolan help me. It's hard to do with one hand and uh, there's a little lever here and you pull up and there's another little catch there and uh, you might find it's funny to some of you guys be showing you how to open the hood but I have gotten calls. I mean it's not like a new new cars and, and stuff. I got it underneath the dash so I've had numerous calls. Hey how do you open this? Thing? So I figured I'd think ahead but uh, here we go underneath the hood. It's got an inline six. I believe it's the original 223. You can see there. And uh, we did a lot of work to this truck. It's got a four speed uh, back behind there. And I wanted to detail the motor, but do a lot of good things to it at the same time. And I kind of went a little step further. I wanted to, uh, you know, clean the rockers and all that stuff and take the intake off and uh, put new gaskets and stuff. So I went ahead and pulled the head and. Uh, you know, made sure it was true, put a new head gasket on it, and the old head gasket looked great. And uh, so we went ahead and uh, put a new head gasket on it, new valve cover gasket, new intake manifold gasket, and uh, 
you know, just painted everything. We actually put a new side cover gasket uh, down there and repainted it. So you can see here the original tag is on it. And uh, you can see 1964. And the uh, carburetor has its original tag. Hopefully you can see it right there. I'll take a picture of it. And uh, 1964 as well. And, uh, you know, everything just looks really good underneath the hood. And you can see there the engine number C4AE intake and exhaust is C or uh, C3AE. Actually, that's C3AE down there. And uh, so that's for 1963, but they use the same components for the 64 model, so they use the same same number. And uh, But overall, underneath the hood, looks really good. You know, in general, the cowl isn't uh, all rusty. You can see there's no accident damage up here on the front. You know, again, very, very clean and uh, looks nice. You'll see some little paint flaking and stuff underneath here, but overall looks good. You know, newer battery. And uh, I probably did some other stuff. I know we did tune up and all that stuff, changed the oil. Clutch feels good and, uh, you know, it is a four speed, so it's not granny gear. Uh, We'll go ahead and fire it up right here and uh, so you can hear it run. You know, sounds really good underneath the hood. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, these little six cylinders are uh, torquey little engines and, uh, you know, sounds sounds good. And uh, so I just wanted to give you an idea of what it sounds like underneath. Gonna go ahead and take a look at the tailgate. You can see here someone actually put a cap on it. That's actually the way I got it. I didn't talk about that, but uh, I've never taken that off and I don't know why they put that on there. Probably so it didn't get scratched, but there might be some dings and scratches on there and they thought, man, I better put a cap on that. But overall, the bed looks really, really good. And these years of trucks, they double walled them. And uh, that's why sometimes when you see some trucks, they got little, little dimples all over the side is because they didn't double wall and uh, but you look at the bed <coughs> you can uh sorry for the cough uh you can see not a lot of stuff was hauled in this truck but you can see here no accident damage here and this is another area sometimes with a rust and um up in here in, in the bottom of the back here in the bottom of the bed you know very clean but you know overall pretty nice there is one area up here and I bet probably a bunch of leaves or someone you know had something up here and it uh, you know caught a lot of stuff up here so there's a lot of pitting right here on the bed you can see and uh, we just kind of primered over the top of it you can see a couple little rust holes here that need to be repaired and uh, but overall I mean for one of these beds Excellent, excellent shape. And uh, this is actually pretty easy to fix there. I probably wouldn't touch it, I'd just leave it. But um, you can see here some paint flaking right here. And uh, I imagine this truck probably, for the early part of its life at least, probably had a, had a canopy on it. Um, just because you don't, you don't see a lot of stuff here where it's been scraped or dented or anything like that. You can see a little paint flaking right there in the middle, so. Anyways, I hope that gives you a good idea of what it looks like in the bed. Hey, here we're out uh, cruising around the little F100. You know, it's kind of fun to take it out here and uh, drive it around in the country and stuff. And uh, you can see here the horn. Dun, dun. You know it works and uh, you can see it's got an aftermarket radio in it right here is the choke hopefully you can hear the fan you know the heater comes on and uh, you got your lights I don't know if the lighter works I gotta double check that I'm not a smoker and uh, I'll show you the wipers you can see they work actually the cigarette lighter does work and uh, so that's kind of a nice thing um, you can see the odometer, speedometer work. The fuel gauge isn't reading. The temp gauge works. It's got a generator light and an oil light. Obviously, if there was something wrong, those would come on. You can see here the blinkers. They work on the truck as well. So anyways, uh, we'll cruise here around. You can see here the steering wheel is 
a little bit shaky, you know, these bias ply tires, um, you know, they're, they're really, you know, they're kind of a rough riding tire in general, but. Hey, here we are, we're gonna take a look underneath the, the F100, just put it up on the lift so we can take a look. Uh, you're still gonna see all the still photos and stuff that we take, but I like putting them on the lift so we can talk about different things and, you know, just poke at different things and, and just talk about it. So anyways, we'll just start here in the, in the front and take a look, you can see the tires. You know, they're, uh, they're pretty even, evenly wore. Again, they're, they're nylon uh, bias ply tires, so they are, you know, a little lumpy when you're, you're driving on. They're not like a radial. We uh, put new shocks on it here, front and back. And you can see up here, the important thing is, you know, you don't see any accidents. You know, actually really clean uh, up underneath here. You can see the engine. You know, I haven't seen any major leaks or anything. Gasket looks looks good there. I see a few little damp areas, and uh, but overall uh, pretty clean. You can see here, you know, it's got a straight axle. I think uh, 64 was the last year of that, and uh, then they went to the twin I beam, and uh, you can see inside the frame looks good. We'll just pop up here, look behind <clears throat> the fender area here, and that looks real good. Again, new shock. You know, the brakes and stuff look real good. I'll show pictures of that. The brake line, you know, it's kind of dirty, but uh, I didn't see any cracks or anything. It, it looks in good shape. <clears throat> show you up here on the front, too. You can see here the transmission. We actually serviced it, put new uh, gear oil and stuff in it. And that's why I put that date uh, right there. And uh, you can see the transmission mounts. A couple little cracks in them, but uh, they look okay. Right here is a really important spot to look on old trucks like this. We are out driving in the rain, but absolutely no rust down here in the bottom of the cow. This is a really common area for us and it looks good. You can see here, you know, on the back of the cab, you know, the rocker, <clears throat> very, very clean. You can see the body mounts look in good shape and not rusty. There's another body mount right up there. It's got a new muffler on it, you know, glass pack. I didn't put that on there and it was on there when I got it. And uh, you can see here, this rocker, real, real nice. You know, the body mount looks good, and the uh, inner step well, very, very nice. And uh, you can see here the back of the cab, and what saved that cab is you can see these drains right here and right there. You know, they're clogged free. We'll go ahead and look at the bottom of the cab here on this side too. Again, it's not rusty, and uh, looks good. Wrap around here to the back. You can see the original tag on the rear end. It's a 389. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, new shocks in the back. <clears throat> you know, I took the gear oil out of the rear end and uh, put new in. Went ahead and painted the spare back here as well. And uh, you can see here behind the, the bed. Looks real clean. And uh, you know, I just haven't seen any accident uh, damage on the truck at all. I mean, everything looks real, real clean in general, and uh, just kind of the way you'd want to find one. And uh, put a new exhaust tip on it. But uh, overall, I mean, the truck looks pretty sound and and looks good. Hopefully, that gives you a, a good sign. Um, you know, just kind of a good idea of what it looks like, and in general, just the the structure of it. It's just important to look underneath the car. You know, they can look pretty on the outside, but. Uh, it's underneath what really matters on these so anyways uh, if you got questions give me a call you can email um, you can uh, put the comments through uh, bring a trailer there and be glad to, to help if you want to send someone out to look at it before you bid be glad to have you